For students who are yet to come to WESEC and are watching these videos, just imagine yourself sitting on one of these chairs, staring at your professors with boundless optimism, waiting for them to impart their wisdom onto you. Hey, welcome back to the channel guys. If you're new here, my name is Arif. Wait, let me take off my mask. Okay. Yeah, so let me try that again. So, hello and welcome back to the channel guys. If you're new here, my name is Arif and I'm a first year student enrolled in the Grand Nicole MIM program at ESSEC Business School. And today, as you can see, it's a very beautiful day. And one of the most common requests that I've uh, gotten on my channel is, can you please show us around the campus? We want a campus tour video. So today is about that. Actually, if you search for uh, Essex Business School, then there's a particular building that you guys will always see. And let me just take you quickly to that, and then we can go inside, and I'll show you around. So this is the building that you generally see whenever you search for SX Business School on Google and if you're coming from the prefecture station then that is the area basically where you come from and that's the entrance to the school but this is the one that you always see on Google. So now let me take you guys inside and we can have a campus tour. So as soon as you enter through the main gate you present your SEC ID card and you enter into the great hall. Towards your left you have that information kiosk and towards your right you have the Petit Amphi and the Grand Amphi classes. So let's go to the right side first. So the Petit Amphi and the Grand Amphi can be used as classes as well as for different events. If your professor is calling a guest speaker or your association is holding a meeting, this is a place that you can do it in. These are also used for your normal day-to-day -day classes. So let's go back towards the main center area and as you can see we also have normal classes every now and then. This one is a pretty small class but yeah sufficient for a group of 20 to 30 people. Now let's take a right turn from here and go towards the cafeteria. The cafeteria is big enough for a lot of students and you can get everything from croissant, donuts, wraps, tarts, all kinds of stuff. So towards the right side of the cafeteria, we have this open space where you can go chill, hang out with your friends and is the most common space where everybody meets in between classes. So now if we come back and go straight from the cafeteria, we have our fin lab. This is filled with workstations that you can use to maybe access the Bloomberg data or just work. So moving towards the right side from the Fin Lab, we have student associations. And also the famous in-campus bar Foys. You have that open space where you can just get a drink from Foys and chill and hang out with your friends. Now coming back towards the area of the Fin Lab, if we go straight from this point, you get to the library. Now in the library, you have books ranging from literature to novel to business economics and books on negotiation. You can find books on every single topic here. By the way, a good recommendation if you want to read about negotiation is Getting to Yes by Roger Fisher and William Uri. Now since the library spans over two floors, you can also go up and explore the sections there. There are a lot of tables where you can just plug in your devices and study for the day. Now attached to the library, we have the K-Lab. So the K-Lab is basically in partnership with Samsung and this was inaugurated back in 2014. This is a place for the production of educational content and the sharing of knowledge open to the entire community, the students, the teachers, the staff members, alumni and the business partners. Designed as an experimental research laboratory, this space also allows the creation of video content for MOOCs and e-learning and the provision of modeling and 3D printing tools. So now when you come out of the K-Lab onto the other side, you have offices for ESSEC Ventures and as you can see, these are all the startups by ESSEC Ventures. Now moving forward, we come across a building that is known as the Galleon. Now since I've been shooting for the last couple of hours, let me quickly check the time and also my temperature. Now Galleon is a space where you can just find classroom on the first and the ground floor. You can maybe just sit on one of these cubicles, plug in your device, study or maybe watch my videos. So let's see how the classrooms are in Galleon.
So we do have bigger classrooms in the galleon as well, which is mostly on the ground floor. So this is the gate where I entered from. This open space is the one that is right next to the cafeteria. And this is this building right here. These study spaces in the galleon are a nice space if you want to study with a group of people. The same big classroom on the other side of the galleon as well. So now let's go back to the center area. So we have one more section of the K-Lab where you can come and use the workstations. We have ESSEC TV Studio, 3D Lab and the Data Lab. You can also use the recording studio present here. Somebody was on air actually when I was shooting this segment. So now when we move from the K-Lab towards the cafeteria, again on the left side, we have space for classrooms. The classrooms are similar as to the one you saw on the galleon area, just a little bit smaller. For students who are yet to come to ESSEC and are watching these videos, just imagine yourself sitting on one of these chairs, staring at your professors with boundless optimism, waiting for them to impart their wisdom onto you. So now let's go back to the center area. Now we saw the cafeteria on the ground floor. This is how the area is on the first floor. You have a piano where you can just blow off some steam in between classes if music is your thing. Now let's come back towards the main hall and exit from the gate we entered. Now when we come out from the gate we entered, we can actually take a left turn and reach an area which has an enormous park around the campus. You can use this open space to do anything you want. You can just hang around with your friends, have your lunches here, meet your friends or just enjoy the beauty. So yeah, I guess that's it for today. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this virtual tour of ESSEC Business School. If you are coming to ESSEC in the 2021 incoming batch, or if you know someone who's coming, do make sure to send them this video. It might help them in some way. And as always, thank you for watching. Please make sure to hit the thumbs up and also consider subscribing to the channel. And I will see you in the next one. Thank you. Bye-bye.